the day, people. September 27th, it's 2018. As you know, we've been covering the intro to Abraham. My theory on it is I write down the passages exactly like Abraham is speaking them, and then I assume the position, I assume the frequency. It takes 17 seconds to get it started. Today, we start on the law of deliberate creation for those who choose to create on purpose. But actually, it's called the law of creation for it works whether you are thinking of what you desire and it's working if you're thinking of something you do not desire. Some, thinking of something you choose, thinking something you don't choose, they're both creative. But what we're talking about is deliberate creation. A deliberate creator, someone that deliberately offers their thoughts. They decide their thought ahead and they deliberately start their thought. Here's what I found out today, something amazing. You want something amazing? I know you do, you want something amazing. How's that thymus gland been going? You got that going? This is amazing right here. You come from the land of the absolute, you take a physical body and you get one choice and you get one choice only. And that choice is the direction of your thought. Think about it for a second. You only get one choice here, the direction of my thought. Now the law of creation goes to work on whatever you're thinking about. And there are two parts to remember. The launching of the creation with emotion. How you launch a creation is you desire something. You want improvement. You don't have to concern yourself anymore with what you're choosing. You can skip that, you're done. You've done the launching. But the second part is the expecting or the allowing, the receiving, that which is launched. There's gonna be a time gap between your choices or launching of the rockets, that's what they call it, and the receiving or what they call the manifestation. Now, if you're using the power of your thought to prepave or set into motion, thought into advance of what you choose, as you are walking into your space and time into your now, you will not have so much action to take to get things the way that you're desiring them. And less action will become very pleasant to you. You have intended action, it's part of the game, but you did not intend to do your creating through action. You intended to create your reality through your thinking and then to enjoy it with your action. Keeps coming back to what am I thinking? You want to get a good skill? Get a hold of your thoughts. What am I thinking about? To slow down your thinking, stop talking for a while. Slows down the thinking and then you can place what you want in there. Written word for word from intro to Abraham. As you set forth thought in advance with emotion, you've launched your creation. Now your job is to walk through space and time toward the time in the future, knowing you activated it. You know you activated it. You know it'll be there. You know how it goes. You know the rules of the game. Then we say to you from that joyful creation that you have launched into your future, you'll be inspired to take the action that is action and joy. Let's cover it again. When you activate things from the angel or the angle that's already on the big board, it's on the big board of options, it's on the scenes, every scene is selected, that you select comes from that scene board. Every ending has been already written. And when your angle is, I can just activate this and then stop thinking about it and then walk through space and time, we like to say that space and time, have you ever said it? Time and space. Then you will be inspired to that action that will bring you the thing that you choose. Wow, this is the truth. This is what they said. When you take action now, and it's not action and joy, it's our absolute promise to you that it will not lead to a happy ending. It cannot, it defies law. Rather being so ready to jump into action all the time, see the things you desire, visualize them, expect them, write them down, work your angle, learn the laws of the universe and know it's available. That's the, uh, the guidance from Abraham. And then if you do that, you will be guided step by step. You'll be inspired to the perfect action that will lead you to what you seek. Thank you.
That was very clear. We're going to cover the law of allowing next. From the intro to Abraham, word for word, the law of allowing. Key. We have put the law of allowing in this order. First, this law of attraction. You got to know that. You got to know how you're getting what you're getting. You have to have law of attraction in place to get these other laws. You know the law of attraction. You're in charge of everything. You're the cause of everything. You made it that way. That takes a while. Once you get there, then you can get to the law of deliberate creation where you decide ahead what it's going to be. And then you can move to the law of allowing. And the law of allowing cannot be understood until the first two are understood. The law of allowing. Here it is. I am what I am. I am where I am. I get the game. And I am pleased. Some game in it. The law of allowing. It is what it is. I'm pleased with it. I'm joyful. Because if you're working on yourself, you're receiving new information every day. And today's guy has more information than yesterday's guy. Today's guy knows more than he did. So he's pleased where he is. He gets the game. Because I am able to focus on what I desire. I have the power. The inner guidance system will notify you of your level of allowing. If you're working on allowing, work in the minus and the plus. Minus means no. Plus means yes. You got it. Follow the yes. When you do not allow another, when you farm someone else's land, you will get a minus. This game is easy if you can farm your own land. It's just another reminder. It's not a big deal. Everybody does it. Right now, people are farming Money Mayweather's land. Who's in the news? Let's farm Donald Trump's land. See, when you farm your own land, you'll start to pay attention to the minus and the plus. The plus will take you home. The minus will take you away from home. Choose your words by the plus. Topics by the plus. Mind your own business. Have you ever heard this terminology? Mind your own beeswax. You have to mind your own business to get in the game. Get in the game five minutes. It's none of your business. Your business is the lower choosing the higher. Lower reconnecting to the higher. Purpose, that's all that is. You have to spend every moment doing it. There is no room to farm Beyonce's land. If you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Intro to Abraham, written word for word so that I can assume the frequency. Think about it. Abraham's talking, a channeled, non-physical energy, and I'm writing the words down, and it takes time to do it. I wrote down, when you are not understanding how something is coming, then you're fearful of it. It took me about 20 seconds to do that. My attention's on Abraham. My focus is on Abraham. Law of attraction kicks in. Think about the statement. When you're not understanding how you're getting what you're getting, you live in fear. So the law of attraction is very important. What happens when you learn the law of attraction, the new person says, I've heard of the law of attraction. I watched The Secret. You'll know you know the law of attraction when you're not concerned with what you're getting. You'll know you'll know the law of attraction when you're no longer concerned with what your neighbor is doing. You'll know you'll know the law of attraction when you won't spend time thinking in your mind about other people. You'll understand that you're creating those people and all that matters is what you're thinking and everybody has to be left out of it. It's part of it. This is for leadership. This is for the Alumni Foundation. And now I would say it'd be time to get in the game. Get in the game five minutes. Don't waste any time thinking about a person. Speaking third person. That's why I have very few friends. Because everybody wants to talk about somebody that's not there. That makes no sense to me. How about you and I gather together and we'll talk about a person that's not there. And what do you say we activate all their situations too in our life by speaking of it? Here's some good news, really good news. Abraham intro. Check out the Abraham intro. Go ahead, teach it, see what happens. Another cannot come into your life unless you invite it with your thought. Nothing can enter your zone 
There is nothing that can enter your cell. You want the back view? You like the back view? Check out the back view. Side. Nothing can enter your zone without your invitation. Your thoughts, your invitation, your lips moving and saying words, you're inviting. Your actions, they're inviting. You're continually inviting. Why would you invite something you don't want? Because you don't know you're doing it. That's why you train yourself to make feeling good, number one, and then begin to follow your feelings. Follow the plus, get rid of the minus. Notice the minus and turn it to a plus. Get in the game, farm your own land, turn up your levers, get to the sun gaze, get to the exercise. What are you waiting for?